guys, Coach Alex and Coach Sue here with Physique Development, and today we are going to educate you on the lying hamstring curl. Now, before we get into that education, what do you think these people should do? They should probably subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment on how awesome Sue looks in this bandana. Go ahead. All right, so let's dig into the education of this movement. Now, this is a movement in which you very commonly will see when training hamstrings. We don't have a ton of exercises that are going to be training the hamstrings, especially an exercise like this that's going to be training the hamstrings in the shortened position. And this piece of equipment is very simple, right? It's just get in the machine and curl the pad. Well, there's a lot more to it, and I'm excited to show you guys what it all entails. So, I'm going to have Sue go ahead and lay down in the machine. The first thing that we want to pay attention to is going to be a little circle on the arm that is going to be called the axis of rotation. What we want to happen here is for this axis of rotation to go directly through the middle point of your knee. And as you'll see, Sue is in perfect position with that. The second thing that we'll want to do is the pad height on the ankle. Now, we do not want this high up on your calf and we do not want this hanging off your feet. We want it to be right on the, the Achilles or the lower portion of the calf itself, which is going to keep us in a stable position. If as you are going into knee flexion, this is rolling or, or moving up your leg or down your leg, you're probably in the wrong position within the axis of rotation. So come back to that point and make sure that you're right in alignment with your knee. From there, what we're going to want to do is make sure that we have a slight degree of hip flexion. Fun note, when you're getting into the fully shortened position of the hamstring, it's going to be important to have this slight degree of hip flexion. Not all lying hamstring machines are going to have that ability to go into hip flexion. Sometimes it's going to be just this flat pad. What you can do there, and we'll pop this up on the screen, is use one of those barbell hip thrust pads to elevate your hips just enough to have that slight degree of hip flexion. It'll be perfect. Now from there, once we have that degree of hip flexion achieved, Sue is going to make sure that she's pulling herself very hard into those handles, contracting her lats, and contracting her core. She's gonna have a slight degree of ab flexion to ensure that she's stabilizing the pelvis. Now, we are in the perfect position to contract and really target these hamstrings. That was probably more than what you were doing previously when you were executing this movement. I know it's a lot, but take yourself through those steps and it's going to be the perfect setup for you to nail this exercise. Now that Sue is in this setup, all she's going to do is drive those hips into the pad and contract the hamstrings. One thing that we want to pay attention to in terms of the pace in which we are going into knee flexion, if you are feeling your calves a ton through this exercise, and you're like, man, my calves are getting a juicy pump, but I feel nothing through my hamstrings. What's probably happening is that I'm gonna get out of the way, and I'm gonna have Sue kind of fly up with this. <laughs> oh my gosh, like that. <laughs> So what's happening here is that the first 15 degrees of knee flexion, about right there, a lot of that is handled by the gastro or the calf itself. And once we get out of that positioning, now the hamstrings are in a biased position to be the major mover in this exercise. And so what we want to do is treat this as an acceleration. And so Sue is going to slowly raise this and as she breaks that 15 degree marker, she's going to accelerate so that we have a better bias on those hamstrings. Now that we've walked you through that, I'm gonna have Sue go ahead and go through a handful of repetitions so you guys can see it in real time. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you're gonna love this video and love this video. And if you want more from us, check out our website at physiquedevelopment.com.